It's something you want to avoid. So what's the biggest nightmare that we tend to see? And you want to understand the path of the entry side shoulder, which becomes the block shoulder. Now, the biggest nightmare that a thrower can get into, in my opinion, perhaps is the top distance killing mistake and it's pulling the shoulder around. So in the throw, one of the things that you're trying to do is understand your basic angle so that you can stay long and you can get this arm moving. And this arm has to move a very specific way to pull you into the throw so that you pull out into the delivery. So here's the thing that you want to avoid at all costs as you develop as a thrower, it's pulling the shoulder. So at any time you turn the arm and the shoulder together, that's typically gonna wind up causing you to fall and then you're gonna come in here and then you're gonna pull. Now I've seen just recently, we had an athlete, he has a really great block, hits it, but he pulls here. So he turns his hip through, he blocks real well, but he's turning his hip and pulling his shoulder back. So one of the things that, again, we'll talk about in camps in our program is we want to deliver a knockout punch. We want that shoulder nice and strong and right. You don't see knockout punches in professional MMA or boxers throwing punches like this. It's bam. They're going to get that whole delivery side in. That's what's going to deliver that knockout blow. So we want to deliver the knockout blow in your throw. That means learn to not have the left shoulder pulling around. And that's gonna start at all phases. So you're gonna see it here. And sometimes people are saying, throw the arm. And that we agree with, but there's a right way and a wrong way to move the arm. And if you move that shoulder with it, you're gonna be here and you're gonna be seeing this type of stuff. And the block pulls around late. And now you're pulling off the throw instead of pulling here and coming into the throw. And that's the thing we wanna avoid. So this is a super, simple tip but what you want to do is look at your video and if you see your shoulder cutting in so when you're in the back of the circle if you see the shoulder cutting in or you see yourself doing a, a half the turn or 180 and your shoulder is cutting like this and you're pulling around and your block elbow you can look in this camera and you see that block elbow over here you're in trouble because when you look at the great throwers, you're going to see that block elbow here. If you're looking at shot putters, you see it here. You do not see this type of emotion from the best throwers in the world throwing the biggest distances. And you want to learn that at a young age because if you start developing rip around shoulder, I'll tell you this, as a private coach who sees people from all over the US, even from other countries, I see that as one of the, when I get an athlete who has that, I really let them know how much of a limitation is and how much could distance that's costing them because it's costing them immediate distance and it's costing them development distance. Look at your film. If you see that shoulder pulling around, time to get rid of that. It's the top distance killer. It's a habit that's hard to break, but be patient and really focus on it because it'll make all the difference in the world. And if you want to know how to break it in more depth, check out our Throwing Chain Reaction program. Link's in the description. Hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, check out the links below. used to a little bit upper body dominant. Okay, that's a little better. Now I just want you to really concentrate on pulling that left arm down. Okay, so why does it feel off? You're so upright, you cut the corner. You gotta get long so you can come around. Long forward. See, that was better. You just missed the release a little bit, but you see how much of a difference that makes? That was a lot better. Now, see how your left leg is locked? It can't be locked because it's gonna pull you out of position. Where this is at, this is gonna come down. See where this is at? Boom. So I'm going this way versus you're coming around. You're kind of doing what a lot of kids will do. You're doing kind of a combo pre-block stand throw. If I'm here, I naturally want to put my foot in the right position. Action, reaction. All of, everything's going to be a reaction. So when I create the angle, see how the angle is what pulls you onto the ball, not flexing. That was better. That was better. If you're doing the static wind, you got to start here okay. because you got to wind it right up to the high point. Okay. So you're starting here and you're trying to wind up, which is kind of screwing you up. Yeah. That wasn't bad though. Yeah, that was much better.
Okay, it's close. That was better. Yeah, there you go. Good job. I'm gonna seriously get one of those. That was good. That was all right though. That was the two, the one, two, five, and that was a pretty good, like the movement on it was pretty good though.